welcome back guys this is elijah gishuru uh welcome to my youtube channel now there's this nyandaro senator called uh, senator methu he's a very hilarious man so today at mukami kemadi's uh burial he made a very hilarious speech i want us to look back and analyze his speech that was full of it was comical speech so to speak let us see what he had to say to the nation. So to start us off, uh, Senator Medho referred to the president of uh, Kenya as Baba Ataifa, the father of the nation. So this was a, it was a kind of a connotation because remember the prime minister, former prime minister Raila Molo Dinga was seated right there. And so Senator Medho was doing this intentionally to show that the real Baba right now is the president is uh, William Ruto? Also, another thing he referred to uh, Jeremiah Kioni, who is the former MP of Ndaragwa Nyandaro, where they are. He referred to him as the former Secretary General of Jubilee Party. Yo, <laughs> you know, there has been wrangles in the Jubilee Party of who is the uh, Secretary General between Kioni and Kanini Kega. They have been fighting, and also between the, the party leader, Uhuru Kenyatta, and Sabina Chege. So now, calling this uh, Secretary General a former SG, man, it is such a quote-unquote political uh, overstatement of some sort. So let us listen in to uh, the speech. Anna, you are Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Kiongozi wetu, Rais wa Jamuri ya Kenya. Siku hizi nimeelezwa Your Excellency umepata jina mpya. Siku hizi nimeambiwa unaitwa Baba wa Taifa. Watu yote wako hapa wewe ndiye baba yao. Baba wa Taifa William Samoei Ruto. <laughs> Naibu wa Rais Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua. Na viongozi walio hapa Prime Minister Musalia Mudavadi, Prime Minister wetu wa zamani Mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga, hata Secretary General wa zamani wa Jubilee na muona hapa Jeremiah Kioni. Your Excellency Sir Nataka na familia yote ya mama Mukami Kimadhi Your Excellency sir Mimi nataka kwanza kabisa So one of the key notable things about the speech of uh, the hilarious man Senator Medo is that He kept telling the president that they will work together And that kusaidia hii kazi na wawo nisaidia hii kazi But if you look at the component of uh, the, the, the work he's saying It's just hilarious, it's just comical There's nothing really to help For example that you get the funds for this road and then I'll give you the name for this road. Really now? Na kazi hiyo kwa sababu ni kazi ngumu nataka nikusaidie. Wewe ufanye nusu na mimi nifanye nusu. Wewe kazi yako your excellency. Itakuwa ni wewe utafute pesa ya hiyo barabara na mimi nikutafutia jina ya hiyo barabara. Kwa hivyo barabara yenyewe tutakuwa tunaita eh, Kemadhi Road na wewe uweke pesa na mambo yote yende sawa sawa tujenge hiyo barabara. So Senator Medo is the chairman of um, a committee in parliament that deals with, I think, wildlife and something. And so he's telling the president that there's a road that has whose construction stalled because the people of environment, the environmentalists and conservationists took them to court. And therefore the senator was telling the president that he will talk to the wild animals. He, give, he gives him the task of talking to the wild animals while the president goes ahead and seeks funding for construction of that road. Listen in. Na kwa sababu najua kazi yako ni mingi, pia hiyo minataka nikusaidie. Wewe ufanye nusu na mimi nifanye nusu. Kwa sababu yo excellence unajua hile barabara ilikuwa kwa sababu ya shida ya wanyama huko mustuni. Na mimi sikuizi mimi nimekuwa mtu mkubwa. Mimi ni chama ni ya kamati ya maji, mashamba, misitu, mazingira na wanyama. Kwa hivyo tunafanya hiyo kazi nusu nusu. Wewe tafuta pesa ya barabara na mimi niyogena wanyama huko mustuni, barabara ijengwe. Wewe ufanye ufanye nusu yako na mimi nifanye nusu yangu na mimi kuanzia Monday mimi naingia huko mimi naongea na wanyama unajua mimi ni chairman yao mimi najua vile mimi nazungumza na hawa Senator Medo also expressed some concern that the water from Nyandaro goes to Nairobi and the residents of Nairobi use the water but he said that is not the problem the problem is these people have enough water to drink to wash their cars and to water their flowers while people in Nyandaro are still languishing without water
na damu ya inaitwa sasumwa inapatiana watu ya Nairobi maji na sisi hatuna shida na watu ya Nairobi kupata maji shida kidogo tukanayo ni hii watu ya Nairobi wanakunywa maji na watu wenye wanaangalia maji hawana maji na hata hatuna shida kubwa na hiyo your excellency shida kubwa hata sio hiyo your excellency shida kubwa ni yao watu wa Nairobi hiyo watu wa Nairobi wanakunywa maji hata wanaosha nayo gari na sisi hatuna hata ya kukunywa hata kama wangekuwa hata kama wangekuwa nakunywa peke yake ingekuwa tunaona ni sawa sawa lakini mpaka wanaosha gari mpaka wanaosha wanaweka kwa maua kwa hivyo your excellency nataka hiyo kazi tufanye na wewe kwa sababu kuna treaty ilitengenezwa hapo ikasema hatuwezi tengeneza intake kabla hatujatengeneza video tutaweka maji kwa hawa watu hapa jambini nataka uwatafutie watu wa jambini hapa hawa wenye wako hapa uwatafutie tanki kila mtu aweke nyumbani kwake kila mtu aweke tanki nyumbani kwake kila mtu aweke tanki nyumbani kwake na kwa sababu hiyo kazi ni ngumu sana your excellency mimi nataka ufanye nusu na mimi nifanye nusu kwa hiyo utafute pesa ya tanki na mimi nikuletee majina ya watu wenye tunapatia tanki na mambo yote yenda sawa sawa ndugu hiyo excellency sa watu ya hapa jambini kwa sababu ya hii damu yetu iko hapa so a good senator reached at a point where he told the president now that i've helped you so much also that road it's your work do it alone mimi nitetee hiyo kwa sababu hata mimi nimeingiza kwa hiyo mtego uliniambia hata mimi niseme tutajenga na mimi wenyewe si jumali ya pesa hiyo mahali itatoka kwa hivyo kwa sababu ni kukusaidia kazi mingi hiyo wewe jua vile utangangana nayo tupate barabara pale ndio tukifika bikuni mimi na wewe tusifungiwe nje kwa sababu tuliahidia watu ya hapa Mui, karibu na mwisho your excellency karibu na mwisho So Senator Med went ahead and told Raila that he has the server and he should get it from him. Kwa sababu nimesikia iko kitu mmekuwa mkitafuta huko Nairobi na hiyo kitu mmekuwa mkitafuta Nairobi mimi ndio niko naye. Mpaka nikafikia mlifanya mpaka maandamano huko Nairobi mgaribu mali ya watu. Mlikitafuta kitu ilikuwa inaitwa server na mimi ndio niko na server. Hiyo server mlikuwa mnatafuta huko Nairobi mimi nimeshafungua. Na Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga nimefungua ile server na nikaona hii watu walitulima. Hii watu hawatukuwashinda. Hii watu maneno yao ni kama ndio walitushinda. Vile nimefungua hiyo sava nimeangalia na unajua your excellency sava ni kitu yenye unaangalia tu. Kimathi primary school hapa kura ilipigwa sita na kumi Mheshimiwa William Ruto akapata kura tano, themanini na nane Ule mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Wajakoya akapata kura moja Yule mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Mwaure akapata kura tatu Kura saba ikaharibika kura kumi ikapatiwa Raila Amoro Odinga. Sasa sava hapa Jabini inasema ah watu walitushinda. Kwa hivyo ile kitu tunazofanya mzuri ni kuachia nafasi waendeleze. Ili... So after opening the server Senator Madhu told uh, Methu told the uh, Raila Odinga that well it's true William Ruto won and that the way they have planned themselves for 2027 you guys Raila cannot make it. So you have to wait for 2032 and also 2032 Gashago has prepared himself so he can't also make it. So unless he waits for 2042 and in 2042 Senator Medo has planned himself so he also can't make it. Clearly telling Raila Odinga that there is no room for you anymore. Ni kuachia nafasi waendeleze. Ile kitu mimi nataka ni sababu baba Raila Odinga kwa sababu watu walitulima ile ya 2022 na vile nimepima kabisa ni kama hiyo tumemaliza wacha tujipange na ile ya 2032 kwa sababu hii watu vile wamekaa hawawezi waachilia ya 2027 pia hawawezi waacha labda tupanga ile ya 2032 na tena vile tena naona kashangwa ameanza kujipanga tena ya 2032 inazaribika pia siji tujipange na ile ya 2042 na tena vile na kina mezu ameanza kuja tena ya 2042 inaweza kuwa maneno ngumu kwa hivyo mimi nasema kwa heshima kubwa tuwapatie nafasi viongozi wetu wafanye kazi na adoitwa nyada rodi mshokerie gado ni ndo akuhe kanyaga kumutugeza ta seneta wanyu mane mwaje kile weka ne kudwa seneta wanyu na ne mwaje kile weka ne kudwa seneta wanyu na ne mwaje kile weka ne kudwa seneta wanyu na ne mwaje kile weka ne kudwa seneta wanyu na ne mwaje kile weka ga witwa murathime muno ate mane ni jikara ni tihana muthamaki mane mwaje kile weka ga well there you have it guys that is a hilarious speech from senator medo this guy is just a comedian in politics thanks for watching like comment subscribe and share thank you